Hello, one and all. This might be it. The final episode of 64. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, just start by getting all these things loaded up. It kind of, I don't know if it runs for a while while the game's starting or, or not. Um, but we're getting awfully close. This isn't the end. Or I'm misjudging a lot of what's going on. We need to build the inverse chasm, a bridge to the unknown. I mean, and it's the only new thing that we've gotten a chance to build. Wait, 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 wait. I can build hell gem, a hell gem vault. Okay, that was one of the things that we needed to build to get to 4,000 hell gems. I think I might have to build one more as well, because that's the main thing that I was missing. Everything else I'm generating pretty quickly. Now that might allow me to build an X. No, it's 4,262. Okay. okay. So we also need 2,000 void. 2,000 reality. 2 million? That's not 2,000. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, well, this video is going to go until we built the uh, inverse chasm. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, this is the only way I can get reality. Is going into the void, or whatever this is, the darkness. And it seems like for every machine that I have, it creates one. There's gotta be a faster way to do this. I had to do this to get to two million? I guess I could just like, like think about it. Even if I build like a million machines, I'd have to do this twice and think about what it would take to select all these. Oh, no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. It's 4,000, 4,000 reality. It's the celestial foam. It's 2 million. Whoo! <laughs> I was like, there's no way. That's better though. Well, if I want to get the celestial foam up, let's get to 2,000, 4,000, and then, oh, the 2,000 hollow stones though. I guess I just build more of these, huh? We're making a lot more of these hollow um, the hollow stones. And we convert these into hollow fruit. It's going to cost us our reality and our void, but it'll pay off. All right. Pardon me. And in, only, in order to get a bunch of celestial foam, I can just get rid of these. In fact, I don't really think I need to use them right now anyways. Well, I do need 20 million Elmarine, 20 million Quantite. So I, I am going to have to keep producing those. Also, in order to build the Hell Vaults, we need all, a bunch of those. Okay. Okay. Keep, keep doing what we're doing. That should work out. I'll just take time, as is normal with this game. Look, we got a lot more different sounds now. Are things moving faster, or is it just me? Sometimes it feels like things are moving faster and faster and faster. There's just this one thing I've never really built, the Celestial Reactor. Because I've never had to make Beta, beta Pylene. Look, I've got 70 million. If anything, I need to burn more.
I am making more care night than being a pilot. Yeah, we got to keep going in here. There's got to be some way to automate this, right? Is there something we can do in the real world or sorry, not the real world, whatever that world, other world is, the light world. I think those just pop up in different spots. It's gotta be something we could do in the other world to just automatically collect this stuff. Because that's the way this game's gone. They introduce something new that you have to do manually. And then there's something you can build to do it automatically eventually. But honestly, it won't, it won't take that long. Let's check up here. See if there's anything interesting with the uh, rock. Oh, these are worth a lot. No. If they're bigger, are they worth more? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. That's good to know. Because these are like really big sigils. Okay. Very cool. Unless I just haven't been paying attention, I have been getting that much from them. So yeah, we're gonna need another hell gem vault, I think. We're not getting past uh, three or four thousand. And the reason why is because the hell gems react with the celestial foam and create everything else. I'm almost at the point where I'm not having to sniffle all the time. Wait, do I have enough? Yeah, it's 20k. 20k uh, for the crumblet, so we have enough of these. I, I think I built this up pretty well. I know it's not the best for automation, but I feel like it's been really good for progressing through the game. Like, what I should do is put... Um... silos around so I don't have to keep replenishing this stuff but how much do silos cost or totally re 32064 okay or totally rethink all this but I think if I just put silos around in select spots it would make things a lot more automatic I should let these live because I can select them in this world. Yeah, it's only like two. One or two. That's more. Maybe the more expensive the machine is. Who knows? Who knows how it figures this stuff out? Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, dude, so it's definitely worth going up here to to pop these ones. You probably, you guys could probably hear, I, I've been sick, I was sick for a while and my voice is definitely getting way stronger. You guys can probably hear it if you've been watching all the videos. And if this is the first one you're watching, go back and watch from the start. This is really cool to see it all progressing. This is, you're probably completely confused. 
Uh, actually, even if you watch from the start, you'll still be completely confused. <laughs> now that I think about it. Feels like I have to refill these more quickly. I mean, maybe it's worth it to build more machines and I get more reality. Keeps me in tune going around and filling the machines. That's just a lie. I'm just too lazy. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to do it. Sixteen times. All right. Put them in select spots. Just the ones in the middle, I'll have to refill manually. I mean, I could, like, replace some of the blocks, but I like more blocks. It's gonna get us where we need to go faster. Just take a little bit of work every once in a while. And it's gonna give us more of these. So overall, probably worth. Probably should have done that a long time ago. Because those silos are really cheap. concerned about being up here. It's like more than a hundred. Good. All right, you figured out we figured out this world. As far as I can tell, we've mastered it, so we can't build anything in here. Okay, so this one needs... Uh...
I guess I should just put a silo here too. These two can refill each other. How much is this? 2.4 million. That's a lot of Karenite. Although, do I have a lot extra? Yeah, 20 million. I could gradually replace those as well. Okay, so we have about equal amount of quantitite in Elmarine. That's good. After I do this, I'll probably have about 4,000. Exactly 4,200, 330. <laughs> That's not to say, like, even when I said exactly 4,000, it was 4,000. Uh, don't you love it when you, uh, you think you're about to say something profound and then you actually think about it while you're saying it and you're like, wait, that sounds absolutely stupid. But then you're committed, you know? Okay, so it's now it's just the um, celestial foam that we need. So should I get rid of these? Watch this go up. Still gonna react, just not as fast. Because we're not losing any. Then when we get the hell vault, we just have to. Actually, getting the void is going to be a thing that uh, takes a little while. We just get one for those, right? Yeah, that's really not worth it.
All right, this is great. A lot less maintenance. I take it all back. Should have done this a long time ago. much I can do to make more celestial foam. How much do these cost? I could I could erase these just to make more celestial foam. Like uh to recover the foam. take too long. Okay. Well, I'm glad I discovered that, uh, these ones up, up north by the rock are worth a lot more. Otherwise I would have been down there swiping my mouse back and forth for hours. I think we're done with the hell jam ones here, eh? Beautiful. We're still doing hell jams over here. Almost two million. Yeah, this, this is so much better. The other thing at some point, I could just like erase anything that costs uh, recycle. Sorry, anything that costs uh, celestial foam. Yeah, because mainly what I was doing is refilling these. there wasn't like another level of industrial destabilizer like I guess the hell gem destabilizer along with the hell gem injectors I probably should have taken advantage of that more that would be a whole other setup though I feel like this is maximizing the number of blocks I'm destroying per extra excavating channel. You're only going to be able to get a certain amount of them anyways. Like the excavating channel is the limiting factor here. gems now.
Beautiful. Look at what I've constructed, guys. Two point two four million. I'm still going to need to rebuild those, though, because we're down on Elmarine and Quantitite for the inverse chasm, but that's fine. Well, and we're going to need to, okay. And we're going to need to build, uh, we're going to have to erase them again to get the celestial foam back. We're almost there for uh, Void. What does this do again? Hell gems annihilate the celestial foam. Okay. Yeah, you really don't have to refill these. Entry resident or twos very often. There's also these I never really built. I wish there was ones that did more than one, interacted with more than one cube around them. That seems like a natural upgrade for like this type of thing. For the uh, excavating channel two. We also need 2,000 of the hollow stones, so this is good. There's really no point in mining, I guess. I guess it hits the one in the middle. Okay, 2.6. Aside from getting to sell steel foam on these two, there's not much more I can do. We're digging all these pretty quickly. So yeah, the only thing I would have done is built more of these earlier. And maybe thought about how to make this more efficient, but it, I mean, like I said, I think it's pretty... We're using the, ex the excavating channels as efficiently as possible, and that's the thing that costs... Well, I guess 
If I had built more before Hell Gem was an, Hell Gems were an issue, it would have been less limiting. Because I could probably build a million of these extracting channels. I could. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need 500 billion. <laughs> I could build like 100,000 of them. So, yeah, I don't know. But then with those, you'd have to build these. You'd have to build. You know, those were very expensive. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What did you guys see when you were playing this? If if you if you did. these to go back. It's like you're peering into the other world. I guess those are the hollow stones that you're peering through. The machine design is just incredible in this. That's been the most impressive part. And just the balance has been really impressive too. It's kind of been like three different, three or four different phases, just normal mining and then dealing with the decay and then the uh, going into the other darkness. I guess there's also Dealing with the time manipulation. The hollow stone. Oh, I actually don't have enough. Uh oh. Chromolit. Oh no. Oh no. I have. Okay. We'll get the chromolit back. Shit. I didn't notice I was using chromolit for these. I don't. I don't need these right now. There we go. Oh, that sucks. Why am I losing so much chromolite? Oh, we need 20k for this. I'm gonna need more uh, of these, I guess, because they're they're decaying and turning into the other resources. So I'm gonna need more uh, more of these to build the inverse chasm after we build the hell vaults, the final hell vaults. The Hell Vault uh, contains 1,024 Hell Gems, which stops it from reacting with the Celestial Foam. Or is it reacting with the Chromolit? I, I always get those that confused. It looks like... I guess I'm not getting any more, right? Because we're not digging any up. Right, and since the Celestial Foam isn't... They're all being protected. Interesting. They're all being protected, so they're not reacting with the chromolith. Celestial foam. Yeah. And I'm not mining anymore. See, I should definitely get rid of these.
Oh no, there they are. Hmm. I kind of lost my point of what I was saying. I think it's the, yeah, it's the foam that turns into other things, right? Turns into the hell gem. Shit, I don't think... So since I'm not... Okay, so Celestial Foam is not turning into Chromalite, right? Radiant Celestial Foam with a Chromalit, converting the foam into Chromalits, which are a great source of Hell Gems. Yeah. So since I'm not using the Celestial Radiator, I should build one. Since I'm not using the Celestial Radiator, we're not creating more Chromalit from Celestial Foam. Yeah, I think that's, that's the case. And I'm not really digging it up as much as I was before. got to be close. See, now I need the chromalit. So I need to build uh, one of those celestial things. Oh, I didn't know you could use the the mouse wheel to go up and down. Okay, so now I need to build one of these celestial radiators. And even though it takes a chromalit, it, it makes more chromalits. to spend chromolites to make them. Well, it's like we've discovered a problem. And the annihilator is not producing void because hell gems aren't annihilating with uh, celestial foam because they're all protected. Wild. Every once in a while they'll react, I think, because we're getting above. We are still digging some up here. Every once in a while we get above the threshold for what can be protected, and there's a reaction. Okay. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of all those celestial radiators. There we go. We're getting a bunch now. I guess I took it for granted that I was going to keep farming them from these. There we go, Hellbolt. Final one. So now we're uh, after the inverse chasm. We have enough void, we have enough reality. So I can actually I can get rid of this. We need to make get more hollow stones. We're almost already there at Chromalitz. Okay. When these pop. So I don't need this many. Uh, I don't think I need.
I can't. It's not going. Oh, celestial radiators, right? Oh, but I do need to produce the Almarine and the Quantitite. So yeah, I do want those. Okay. Let's build this again. I just gotta make sure not to overdo it. So I'm actually producing Celestial Foam because Celestial Foam only reacts with the will only be used up if uh, there's hell gems or celestial irradiators, right? God, the <laughs> terminology. <laughs> Wild. Excuse me. And we have enough hell gems. So it's the Almarine and the Quantitite. So yeah, I think I should build more of these. That way we get these to 10 million faster. 20 million. And we are making more Elmarines, so we'll get there. Maybe slightly more Elmarines, so we should get there at about the same time. I'm guessing. 331,000 Celestial Flow. Okay. Cool. Back on track, guys. And then this is going to hollow stone thing is going to take time. It's fun to click them, even if it's not really necessary. Am I going to need more crumblet storage? Maybe. Okay. Costs a lot of uh, Elmarine and Quantitate. But I'm going to need 20,000.
And uh, I don't think I'm going to be mining much more, except for over here. <laughs> Guess I'm just producing them fast enough through this. These are starting to pop up now. A long time. We're, we're passing 20,000, okay. Question is, can we get past 331,000 for this irradiator? It's like overall we are creating more than we're using. Also to get to the millions that we need. So maybe this is a good balance, what we have right now. We just have to wait. Yeah, I think it's just going to take time. Just trying to think. The thing is, like, I have a good balance, and if I start messing with it too much, then we're going to fall into a pit again. So we're just going to, <laughs> it's going to take a while, 20 million. Oh, man. These are going to take a while. Quantite, Elmarine, Celestial Foam. Maybe I should get rid of one of these. But we only need two million. These are 20 million. So we do want to be producing. Oh. Yeah, hey, look at that.
Okay. Yeah, because these are the main two things that are going to take a while to get up there. Not the celestial foam. I definitely should be making another one of these. Okay, there we go. He's, that production's going to go way up. Let's see. Think, right? Radiant celestial foam with a chromolite, converting the foam into chromolites, which are a great source of hell gems, beta pylene, quantite, and almarine due to chromolite decay. This is decaying into those. And this is turning these these into those. <laughs> which turns into these. And once this goes over, it reacts with celestial foam. Goes over what can be stored to make more of these. I don't know. I don't know what this game is. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Making chromolites. We need a bunch of Karenite, but we're making up that quite quickly. Because we're converting, this is burning all this beta pylene and turning it into Karenite. Guess I don't need that. The reason why there's no silo for this thing is increases the speed of any resource conversion machine if placed next to one. Each converter increases the preheater speed boost up to 300% if eight machines are affected. So we got eight around there. Maximizing that. I wonder if eight, I wonder if it's a gradual increase. Like, is it 
300% divided by 8 uh, per building, or if it's like you get a big boost if you happen to have 8 around it. So since 8 needs to be around it, you can't put a silo there to automatically occupy it. Automatically refill it, sorry. So beta pyrene 20 million, yes. 11 million for Quantite, 8 million for El Marine. Still like going way too slowly. And we're, we are making more Celestial Foam, I think. Yeah, so we're gradually getting there with Celestial Foam as well. These are big. Those little surges give you a bunch of resources. I think that there's some chromolites in that one. I should pop into here every once in a while. Oops. It'd be nice if they just kept building up so they became bigger and bigger and bigger. So you didn't have to keep coming back in here. Probably an achievement if you get 64,000 of them or something. I like that, uh, the sound where it's like fat. Like gristle on a barbecue kind of sizzling. Fat like sizzling on a barbecue sound. It's very, very pleasant. Thank you for sticking with this uh, series. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I imagine a lot of you, like I said at the start, would be putting this uh, on the side while you're doing other things. Because I've tried to make it pleasant to listen to. And I like to have a series like that on the channel, because I know a lot of you guys, at least when I ran a poll, a lot of you guys do watch my channel. Is something on the side while you're doing work or playing a game, watching something else. It's cool to have a series like that. I think RimWorld will probably be the one <laughs> to go to after this. If you want something on the side, has a little bit more going on. Not that there isn't a lot going on in this, but definitely a relatively minimal game. Yeah, I'm gonna get to this 20 million way faster. Although we're already at almost 10 for these two.
I mean, what could I do to make this all go faster? I could make more extracting channels. That's not going to really get us these faster. The only thing I could really do is make more of these. But then I'm not going to get as many as much celestial foam. But I guess I could just do the same thing I did before. Once once we get to our goals for Quantitite and Elmarine, we can get rid of them. that 150,000 or something like that I could build more catalytic refineries like here This will help because this is going to produce more uh, chromolith and celestial foam. I wonder if I just like recycled everything. <laughs> if that would be enough. Probably, yeah. Is that what you're supposed to do? I'm, c I'm concerned about doing that though and then needing to rebuild it all. That's 225,000 Elmarine. Mm. If I'm like, if I was convinced that that was the end of the game, then I would probably do it. They actually have a pretty good balance. We're just making, making way more Karenite. I'm using this. Claims Quantite from quite Karenite. Balance that in, maybe. extra Karenite.
Are we at our goal? 2,000? Yeah. So we're at our goal for hollow stones and void and reality. We need 2 million celestial foam. 20 million of these three. And we're gonna get we're gonna get to 20k crumble as well. Well, we might need to to get rid of some of these to get there. Actually, we're using it all up to make everything else. Keep going into this so I can see uh, what I need to refill. Mm -hmm. I delete the cat catalytic refineries too. Recycle them. I dig that sound too. The clicking from the hell gem. Hell gem jails. Curious. Let's let's say I delete these two. It's like this is a way slower. Okay, it is it is way slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess probably what I should be doing is like using these instead to free up the uh, quantitate and the El Marine because we have the uh, we have the extra voids. This will work though, it's just take time. Also, this doesn't cost quantitate. Very much thinking about it.
Maybe if we get to the goal that we need for... Celestial Foam? I think we just wait. God, I don't want to eat that Rice Krispie Square. Is it just me or is it? It all, okay, no, it was like, it looked like it was always floating up, like there's some kind of optical illusion going on there, but now it's, now it's floating down. It's like, how are they doing that? I do wonder if there's some kind of other significance to the popping in this. I know it's the blocks popping, but like, can that be harnessed? I feel like there should be more to this. Maybe that's the plan to add something more.
Okay, I think, I think I should replace these. I guess I misunderstood what annihilation means. Destroying them real fast. <laughs> Damn. I put one here just to see. Because I think it also is an entropy resonator. I just assumed it meant when the Annihilator, like, kicked off. Okay, that might make things go even faster. These are popping off. I'm going to be doing some editing in this video, so I'm going to be, like, jumping around, because otherwise this would take forever. If I delete these... One, two. What if I delete these?
They just go away. But I'm still getting the resources, right? Yeah, they're, they're still popping, I think. And it's using one void. So maybe I should rebuild that. Okay. Is that really helping us that much though? I guess I'm recovering the Elmarine. expensive. I feel like I'm um, filling things up a lot more than I was before. I'm losing Celestial Foam now, though. But, which is actually, it's kind of okay, because we're going to get there faster, and then I can get rid of some of these. Now we're producing these too fast. those resources.
Why are these going so fast? Is it because of those? I'm destroying the blocks that much faster? Alright, that's wild. Whoa, look at all the Karenite I have now. 52 million? Whoa, why, how did that happen all of a sudden? I have more Karenite than Beta Pylian. Actually losing Beta Pylian now. Is this doing something I'm, I don't understand? Maybe because I'm making more hell gems? Okay, maybe I should get rid of some of these now. These definitely seem to just... I got so used to what I had. Things just seem to be going faster. Okay, but I kind of do want... Now that I have all this Karenite, I do want to do that. I do want these. It doesn't automatically fill this one up. Maybe, I don't know. You could play around with that. I thought, like, we were theorizing in, someone was theorizing in the um, comments that this, when this one came up, it would refill based on this one. those earlier.
Maybe annihilate means like when one box gets destroyed. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're like, we're really close on celestial foam now. So I just need a bit more, well, a lot more Elmarine and Quantite. Nice thing about these void, this void resonator upgrade, it doesn't require either of those. So it's like, I have a bunch of the other things already. So it makes sense to upgrade it. Producing a bunch of hollow stones, producing a bunch of void. Reality, well, I have a bunch of extra celestial foam. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have a bunch of extra, but I'm going to. Because we're going to get to the 2 million before we get to the 20 million for those. these just all went came up because I built them around the same time so they're gonna pop around the same time these silos do I felt a bit weird Four hundred thousand, three hundred fifty thousand beta pilot. I want that for El Marine and Quantitite, though. We're just waiting on the twenty million. That's in those those two have been the ones that I've struggled the most with. I guess I just should have built a lot more of these. Let's see if this will work. So if I... It doesn't fill this up. Maybe it will, though, when it runs out. Has a bunch of celestial foam. Nice.
So we're through the hell gems over here. Cool. It kind of does make sense to put these in the newer ones. What's happened? Oh. Because we'll get into the higher level stuff faster. And like maybe, like if I had known to build these earlier, I could have put more active channel coolers maybe. Yeah, I've learned so much about this game. I would, I would have done things a lot differently. That's kind of part of the fun. That's a lot. Five million? <laughs> That's a bit much for silos now. Okay, we're back up to 44.8 million. Chromolith that I'm never quite getting to the 30,000. Build more of. See, but this is annihilation, right? This pop here that we see. I don't know. The terminology is. Oh! I could just click on that to collect it? Oh. I didn't realize that. Thought I had to wait for it to pop. Cool. So learn any stuff. big chromolite things happen when these pop, huh? But then they quickly... Um... Decay into the other things. They don't react with the hell gems. It's the foam that does. Nice and even. <sighs> All right, fourteen million Elmarine, fifteen million Quantite. We guys, we are very close. I think I have enough of everything else, right? 
Oh, the two million slash a phone, but we'll get there. Get there well before. Or are we losing Celestial Foam? No, I think we're gradually we're gaining a little bit. I, I have a feeling that's the final thing, because look, it's taking every resource. And it's a bridge to the unknown. <laughs> that seems kind of like the end. Oh, we just got a bunch of Chrome Lips. I like the way the um, reality looks. It's contrasted against like a darker color. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna feel good finishing this game off. I've enjoyed it, I just... Not really? <laughs> That's what I'll say it. Like what I said close to the beginning of this series, like what the f what the hell am I doing with my life? What is this? But you, I don't know, I, it's weird and I like weird stuff. I like playing weird stuff, even if it's a waste of my life. <laughs> no, I don't consider this to be a waste. If we're experiencing something different, someone's unique vision, you know? Okay, we're at 2 million with Celestial Foam. But we're, we're kind of like hovering around there. Over time, it'll, it'll stay there though, which is actually good. Which means I should just build more of these. Ooh, that was a big infusion. Right? Forget it. <laughs> well, I can erase those and once we get to the quantitate total we want, I can erase them and make El Marine ones. Gotta keep these going. at this. You guys will just get the whole thing. It's more about the back. There's a whole section where I wasn't talking, though. <laughs> Wait, you can highlight this stuff? Oh. Discovered something new. some achievement. I'm not much of an achievement of a Chivo hunter.
Not really even that much, though. So how deep have we gotten? 38,000. 37,000. 36. 33. 30. Kind of interesting that we ended up at about the same over time. I guess it makes sense because they become harder and harder to dig. So the ones that are behind should catch up. That's only 75,000. So if I if I recycle one of these, it's not that big of a deal. 3,000, 29,000. These would probably add up 51,000. Yeah. Should I recycle these? Technically, don't need them. We have enough Aaronite. Now we're getting two thousand, or sorry, twelve thousand. How much do these cost? Purples. They cost purples. Those cost yellows, but two thousand is not a lot. Six thousand is not not really a lot. Even the entropy capacitor three. 97, so 100,000, 64. It's starting to make me think I should have built a lot more. These extracting channels. gems mainly with the silos that's a fair amount why not just do that That was a big chunk. 
a million and five hundred twenty-four thousand. Plus all the chromo it's gonna give me. Yeah, anything that's actually has a lot of crumble invested makes sense because it's going to decay. Oh, we're so close. Can you guys feel it? It's just gonna be like jump to credits, <laughs> or it's gonna there's gonna be a whole other thing to do, like build a portal or something. But it's a bridge, the unknown, right? It's a portal, if not a bridge. It's a really small bridge, really short bridge. It takes no time to get through. Almost a mill. How it determines that what it gives you with those based on like how many resources you mined. So those costs, um, Elmarine, but they're pretty cheap. So probably not worth getting rid of. But when we get the quantitate up to the level that we need, we might as well, right? So all assuming it's the end of the game. my knees so it doesn't slow down time. So almost at 20 million. Point two. Pull oh, across a million of these. Oof. We'll get a bunch back though when we get rid of them. I can delete them and replace them with uh, Karenite enrichment bats. Probably not a terrible idea. Okay, 19.3. Man, it's just it's going so slowly. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. 19.34.
kind of underwhelming how much it gave me. I was all excited. It's just like nothing. chasm over here. What a thing we've created. Kind of, I'm kind of interested in maybe doing another fact. I don't know. Factory games aren't really my thing. I think maybe I'll focus on RimWorld. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to focus a little bit more on streaming the next little while on the channel. I'm really enjoying uh, chatting with people. I, I didn't stream very much for a while. It's definitely uh, it takes more energy to, to stream for me because I'm an introvert. It is kind of social. These still haven't popped. Okay, 9.56. you guys have done differently here if you're in my position this, this whole video like what would you have done to make this go faster probably rebuild all of this and focus on uh, the celestial radiators be the thing Just slowly chipping away at this. I guess I don't need these so much anymore. Oh. oh. Hey, all right. See, it didn't it didn't refill. That's sad. Well, we fell below. There. Okay. That's it. That's all we need. Just a little more. I say I get rid of these also.
And then I also want to build those. There we go. That should get us there a little bit sooner. Little worried about celestial foam dropping below two million, though. All right, let's go, guys. This is the final push. Like I'm, like I'm giving birth here. Okay, so this is slowing down time. Someone mentioned that it seemed like time was speeding up. Hey, teleport 64 times. I think that was maybe just after it had slowed down. Or maybe it is slightly slowing down time when there's those blocks around. making remaking foam just like by a little bit yeah and now we're mining it here too yeah I guess I would have built a lot more extracting channels they pay for themselves eventually It's not just the extracting channel, you gotta build this, you gotta build that, you gotta build this. The resonators, the, I still don't know the, just <laughs> I still don't know the freaking terminology, I still have to look it up. I could see like combining some uh, mining. Wait, what happened here? I deleted that by accident. Hmm. Uh, combining like some of this stuff with this stuff, maybe. In terms of sharing silos. Pretty happy though with my experience. I'm not. I'm not very good at being efficient. I'm more about experiencing new things and exploration over efficiency. Just find it tedious to make something like two percent more efficient. There's fun there for sure, but it quickly feels like I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. 18.2 million guys. intact this structure has kind of been the same for a long time I kind of like it what I need is a surge I need an Elmarine surge 
I'll take it. They want to give it to me. I'll take it. Right here. This is where I'm going to put it. The inverse chasm. Could I just... No. It's really the industrial destabilizers. And just upkeep. Because all of these take Elmarine. So yeah. If I got rid of them. Elmarine has been the hardest resource to deal with. Uh, the hardest resource to create. It's like, it's been the biggest sink for me. Obviously, the interaction between, like, the Hell Gems, Crumblet, and Celestial Foam was the hardest to manage, like, hardest to figure out. It was like, what, what, what's happening? I'm making something and it's disappearing? I would have liked more puzzles like that. I think that would have made the game more engaging. Point nine. Surge? That's the voyage, isn't it? Almost 19. One million more. Come a long way from uh, clicking on stuff. <laughs> Just like slowly destroying things. Nineteen million. Let's go. One more of those, man. Maybe it's like a percentage of the amount of resources that you already have. That would make that would make sense. No, because we just got. Oh yeah, we got four thousand. Okay. Whereas before we were getting like four hundred thousand.
Search! Oh no. It was beta pileen. Do I wait? Is it multiple resources? I think I, maybe I got a little bit of Elmarine. Yeah. Getting more and more of them now. Game's like, you've been playing too long. You should be finished. Point three four. Mm. Wanna just like erase stuff. Catalytic refinery. Containment vessels is where most of my Elmarine actually went. Holy crap, but I need those. Nothing else is going to give me it's the industrial stabilizers, I guess. Fifty point five, though. my Almarine Surge. Hit me with that. Mr. D? I just noticed this is Mr. D. I feel like when I'm not over buildings, it's more likely to give me a surge. Or when I don't do anything for a while. But it's probably just totally random. I think that was Celestial Foam. Yeah, that's going to shoot the Almarine up. Or I guess I don't have more of these, right? So should I build one? I think so. We're still at 2 million. I might regret that. 
I guess I could just recycle it. I'm just concerned about crumble it now. Celestial foam balance. Seems to be okay though. Nineteen point eight two. Yeah, we have enough of everything else. Nine two three oops four five six seven eight Nine. Twenty. Boom. That's not the end. <laughs> Gradient well, an everlasting mineable cube. Responds to most destabilizers and resonators. Should be connected to the inverse chasm via conductors. What the fuck? Oh, connects the inverse chasm to industrial silos? Eight, so what? Is that a different? 80 million Karenite, 40 million Elmarine? Oh, oh my God. Okay, well, I'll definitely have edited this for you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, because I spent a lot of time just, like, not saying anything. That's super cool, though, eh? Chasm. Okay. Everlasting Mindable Cube responds to most destabilizers and resonators. Should be connected to inverse chasm via conductors. Industrial silos? I gotta see, what does this do? Well, I guess we'll find it on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wow, that took a while. It took, that was two and a half hours pretty much for me to get all that. So we'll see what the conductor does with the silos on the next one. And I love you all.